All right, we're jumping into Minecraft not during Toten. I mean, just just look at this loading screen real quick. Beautiful. I wonder if we play as Steve. Oh, look at the zombies, man. So it's not like the Minecraft zombies. Uh, they got the got the Nazi uniform, I guess. This is German uniform. I can't, I can't, I'm trying to look in the bottom left corner to see who I'm playing as, but I don't know. I'm assuming I'm going to have, uh, voice lines. We'll see. And apparently there's no, there's no Bible ending or Easter egg, um, on this map, which kind of sucks, but it's, it's okay, because, I mean, it's not during time, what do you expect? He did add a pack a punch though, and I think there's a wonder fizz. I'm trying to think of what else was added. All right, opening the first. Oh, look at oh look at the torch man. So that's the barrier. Is that? I can't. That's not. I think it's stairs. Minecraft stairs, anyways. Look at the doors, man. That's cool. Oh yeah, okay, so the box, I, I, I thought the box would look like the Minecraft chest, like that right there, but I think he, so what happened was the person who made this map, he ran out of time, and uh, he wasn't going to be able to use his computer this summer, so he just went ahead and dropped it. Uh, it still looks cool though, it's okay, let me know. I think there's only like three things that might not have Minecraft textures in, in the whole map, besides the guns and stuff. I don't know if the grenades. Let's see, uh, it looks like it looks like here I go with black ops three grenades. Look at the zombies, man. That's so cool. I need to find more my okay, so I'm a Minecraft uh, freaked off, man. Let's see what gun we get. The G11, oh, oh okay. So there's good mixture of guns. One thing I like about the the modded zombies, uh, their guns, man. I feel like all of them are just insane, OP, which is a good thing because when I'm when I'm shooting zombies, I want to be able to kill them. Not like the whole uh, SMR from Black Ops 2. That was terrible. I almost forgot that Max Ammo was sitting there. You guys hear that? What's that noise? Is there any? I, I'm pretty sure there's no Easter egg, but. Oh. Hmm. Look at all. Look at the trees. Oh, that's cool, man. I'm gonna try to get all the doors open just so I can explore the map. Custom zombies is so fun. You know, if what would make custom zombies absolutely god tier is if it was crossplay with console and consoles had mods. I mean, I can't even imagine the the amount of players that would still be playing uh, Black Ops Three zombies to this day, or even Black Ops Three probably. Do Minecraft zombies? They make noises, right? I, I'm pretty sure they do. I kind of dumped it in. I kind of wish the zombies made those noises, but yeah. Obviously, again, not a big deal. I mean, these are two GOAT games right here colliding into one another. Black Ops 3 and Minecraft. Let me go ahead and open the top here. Oh, cool. So we got we got the bar. M16. M16A1. Trip mines. Uh... Oh, here's a pack. Oh, the pack of punch was making that noise. Oh, okay, okay. That's pretty sick. Let's see. We're here, the Winchester model? Mm mm. And then the car 98. We're gonna get this. Holy, look at this. Man, this is what snipers should be on uh, Warzone, dude. Can you imagine? 
Is that a one shot? Oh. Oh, let's go, baby. This sniper is sick. <clears throat> Imagine if you had an OP sniper like this on uh, Warzone. I don't know if people would love it or if. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they get a lot of hate. There's there's definitely larger people who hate snipers out there. I am not one of them though, dude. I think snipers should be fun to use like this right here. Look how fast that aims down. Obviously that's that's too OP. I mean, obviously you can't have something this crazy in Warzone, but here's the thing about Warzone snipers too. I feel like snipers in the past have typically have one downside, like so if you get, like in Black Ops 2, I'm thinking the Ballista, it was a lot, you could move a lot faster with it, it had a better mobility, but the damage was as high. Like you were going to get more hit markers with the Ballista than something like the DSR. <clears throat> Except pre-patched DSR. Like when the DSR first came, when Black Ops 2 first came out, man, the DSR was, I mean, it was insane. Because it had fast ADS, fast movement, everything. And then they patched it. And, and I mean, it was still good. I actually preferred the DSR over the Ballista, but, but... Uh, that, that's uh, that's a whole other tangent. Anyways, um, yeah. So snipers typically like they either really have high mobility and they're a lot weaker than the other ones, or they are high damage, lower mobility. So like, but I feel like the Warzone two snipers, they all are super slow, like no mobility, and they all just don't do damage. I feel like if you're gonna if you're gonna take away the one shot with the snipers, you gotta be able to move fast. like when they did it in vanguard when vanguard came out and then they did that for um the war zone then i feel like the, there was the snipers like the car the vanguard car i can't think of the other ones but you know the smaller snipers that were faster and um no one a big deal because you could still one shot like a couple couple meters away and still but now it's just like every sniper is nerfed and it's just not not fun for me, anyways. People, there's people out there probably like enjoy still snapping, and um, but I'm just not one of them. It just feels useless, man. You hit them once, and then um, they'll just absolutely fry you with an AR or something LMG, and kill you before you can even get a good shot. So maybe it's just me, though. I mean, I'll be the first to admit that I'm not the most skilled Warzone player. But honestly, I haven't even played the new one this much because. It's just not fun to me. <clears throat> I don't know if it's because it has to do with the decline in um, Battle Royale or if <clears throat> Warzone 2 is actually just that bad. All we know what I need is Quick Revive. <clears throat> Another nail in the coffin for the snipers on Warzone for me. My favorite one is the MCPR. I guess because it's the first one I used. <clears throat> But the thing about the MCPR is it comes with the like default mag size is 10 rounds. And so obviously it's going to move even slower with 10 round mag. So you basically have to waste uh, an attachment slot to get the 5 round mag. Mr. Waff Waffles, I, I seen a YouTube short the other day of him. Um, and it was him saying that zombies, the next zombies is going to be in Modern Warfare 3 or whatever it is this year. Coming out made by Sledgehammer, I guess. And uh, he didn't he didn't seem too happy about it. And if Mr. Waffle is is not looking forward to Zombies game, then it's kind of hard for me to look forward to one because that right there is the goat when it comes to zombies. I'm not gonna get my hopes up for this next the next game anyways though. But I'm looking forward to Treyarch's game. I feel like Treyarch always hits the mark with their COD games, even Cold War. Um, I mean, I didn't really play it a whole lot, but it was it wasn't bad. I guess it wasn't terrible. I kind of like the the switch up with the zombies. The only thing I hate is was the Easter eggs. I feel like, or whatever it is, I don't even know if you want to call them Easter eggs, the quests, whatever they're called. I feel like they're just a little bit too easy, and it's not as fun when you're told what to do. Like on the side of your screen, it's got like a list or whatever, and um, it's not as fun as actually searching for one. It didn't make the game bad though. It just made it. I feel like it was just less replayable if that makes any sense at all the whole mechanics and stuff like being able to jump over rails all that i thought that was cool oh so it changes scope a little bit what's the hit fire in this is it pretty nasty oh man it's so accurate oh maybe i'll add it's pretty accurate though not double pack maybe 
Yeah, yeah, you know, back. Let's go. Also, I don't. I I thought I would honestly like the no loadout or whatever the kind of thing they were going for towards the beginning of the launch, but I, I don't know, man. Not having a loadout kind of sucks because, especially when they made it so rare, because it felt like some people did have their loadout and you didn't, so you were kind of at a disadvantage because they had a gun they were more comfortable using or whatever that was a lot better because they had more attachments on it. I feel like they kind of fixed that a little bit, but. It still just doesn't feel the same. Let's just see what else we get. The war machine? Is it the, the grenade? Oh, it blows up. Oh. Alright, we're just gonna we're gonna finish up the video. We're just gonna do a little quick tour. Um once we get everything opened up here. <laughs> I gotta watch out for those war machines, man. I did not expect that to happen. But yeah, I just kinda wanted to make a quick video. I seen this map on Steam Workshop and I was like, oh man, I gotta give it a try. And I was like, well, might as well just record it because like I haven't done anything with video games in forever. And mostly just because I feel like there's no good video games out that I enjoy playing anyways. I mean, I'm like the past week I've been playing Fallout 4. Because um, <clears throat> Starfield's coming out in September. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but uh, I'm super excited for that. If, I feel like if they if they bring everything to the table that they're promising, that I feel like that game's going to be super fun. But uh, we'll see. I, I don't want to get my hopes up yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pumped for it. I feel like there's nothing to play right now, man. I'm so I'm so bored. I'll be sitting here at home, just I'll be staring at my computer screen, trying to figure out what to play. And then I usually play a game for like ten minutes, and then I'll try to switch to a different game. There's just not a game I feel like grinding right now. All right, we're just gonna do just a quick little rundown of the place um, before we cut the video. We got the, the infield with us, or the whatever it's called, onfield, infield. Um, this is the OG gun. If y'all can, uh, if y'all can let me know what what game this is from, which Call of Duty title this is from, in the comments, I will. I'll, I'll give you a hug and uh, maybe a kiss if you're lucky. But anyways, we're we're gonna start here. So you got the corner over here, obviously. Um, look at this Minecraft stuff. Got the little barrel sitting up there. I don't know what that's supposed to look like, but anyways, there's a lot of barrels sitting around. Here's the. I'll get this just in case. You know, a little war machine accident happens again. Um, even the perk machine, I mean, that, that looks awesome. It's Minecraft, so, I mean, it's pretty cool. And, uh, we got the lantern over here. And this is just a starting room, you know, classic knock. It's still got the same vibe for it, I feel like, even though it's Minecraft. Pretty cool. I'll grab this just in case, because, um, obviously not the best zombies player. We go in here with the box room. Um, obviously got the box. This is where the radio, the radio used to be, where you could play the the songs on World of War. Um, then we go down here. It seems a little bit more open. I don't know if that's just me or if that's just, I don't know. But I wish this is what the mystery boxes looked like. But anyway, still, still pretty cool. And then we got a couple guns on the wall. What is this? The I'm assuming that's a double barrel. And then the Tommy gun over here. Pretty sick. We're gonna make our way upstairs. You got two two wall bars here. You got the bar and then the M16. And the trim mines. The wonder if it's there. No no Minecraft textures, but that's okay. I think that's one of the things he mentioned that he didn't have time for. And then look at the little cauldrons over there, tipped over. Pretty cool detail. I don't know what this is supposed to be. If I could take a bookshelf or I don't know, I'm not really sure. Obviously, we got the pack a punch. This is definitely bigger than the regular knot because this room. I don't think this room was. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. I think I'm just. I can't remember now. But anyway, let's look at the pack a punch back here, which is a huge plus. Um, I mean, knocked without pack a punch is just terrible. No gobble gun machine, which is I mean, not a big deal at all. Let me go in here, and then we got the classic, the camp room, man. I can't tell how many times I'm old knock when I was just a wee little lad and I was absolutely scared for my life sitting over here and camped up trying to go as high as I could, which is probably like round 12 most of the time. The grenades are still here and then the Bowie knife over here and then the stake out. I didn't, this is the 74 you Cool, cool. Yeah, so that's pretty much the whole map. I mean, obviously, I never buy this way even on knock, but you could, if, I guess, if you wanted to. Lift it up a little bit. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much the whole map there. It's pretty sick. Yeah, big shout out to, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but it's, it's either Fromez or Frums for making this map. It's pretty sick, man. Uh, 
if you guys got custom zombies and you're just looking for a pretty chill chill map to play on and uh it's just, it's just unique in its own way i mean it's a classic map old map but still it's still different um i highly suggest you playing this one this one's pretty sick and yeah so that's basically it for this i'm gonna go ahead and go out in fashion And that's the end of the video, guys. Thanks for sticking around to the very end. Uh, you know, I, this is just something I threw together at the very last minute. I was super bored. And uh, I just wanted to play something, kind of just talk over it, and uh, maybe talk about the next Call of Duty and all that good stuff. And um, hopefully, uh, what I want to kind of do is just find games I can play and talk over. And um, hopefully, just make videos out of that. Um, just so I can just ram. It's basically just a little rant session for me. I feel like I can get some things on my chest. Because God knows video games are just terrible right now. I don't know if that's probably just me, maybe, but um, that's just my honest opinion on video games at the moment. Uh, anyways, um, if you don't care, just drop a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, comment what your favorite Call of Duty game is in the comments. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I'll check you on the next one.